wealth within. They gave me that feeling of trust. What you learned in the course was just mind-blowing. Amazing. It was phenomenal. It opens your mind up and makes you realise you don't know what you don't know. I've got the tools now. 100% worth it. Definitely get educated. Hello and welcome to Wealth Within's weekly hot stock tips. I'm Philip Tortevsky, Senior Analyst at Wealth Within, and we are Australia's most trusted stock market educators. Now every Tuesday night, you can see me on the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube alongside two amazing professional traders, Janine Cox and Dale Gillam. Now in the show, we answer important questions around the stock market, cover lots of great stocks and help you become a better trader. Now today we unveil what's hot and what's not for you, our viewers. So let's get straight into it on your screen right now is a watch list of the top 200 ASX stocks. Now you'll see obviously a big week on our market last week, um, the week before we had the so-called market panic where the global uh, markets fell. But I mean, we've done quite a few shows on that, on whether it really was a panic and um, you know the results are in that it wasn't because we had such a strong recovery this week on our market. You can see Aurora Limited up 32.28% in one week, which is very interesting. But I mean, just look to the right-hand side here, you'll see the chart. It has been falling for a very long time. So we always say a week, uh, a trend is not made in a week. So be careful looking at stocks that are jumping really uh, highly in one week. But regardless, we've got a nice little board here of the best. And um, from, you know, just a quick look at it, you can see that financials are obviously up there. Uh, and tech has made a nice recovery. Next DC, which is one of the biggest tech stocks we have on our market up, Zip Finance, Magellan Finance, uh, Insignia Finance, Challenger uh, Finance, and um, we've got a few more going through, a few little miners, a few energy companies starting to make their way in, which is quite interesting because as we've been saying on the show for quite a while, if materials can get going with how strong financials are at the moment, then we are, that is really the recipe for our market to blow through the roof. But um, on the flip side, we've had the worst performers, and again, no surprise, materials. I mean, they can't really catch a break at the moment. Although energy had a nice week, it finished in the green, which was very, very positive. But you can see the majority of these are, you know, mineral resources, Lion Town. Um, what else do we have here? Origin Energy, Beach Energy, some energy ones, Lithium. That's been falling for a very long time. Fortescue, which is a bit disappointing. Rio, so the big miners are struggling. Rio, Fortescue, they're in the top 20 list, which is not great news for that sector. Uh, there was really hope coming into last month that it did find a base around that 17,000 level. It would start to peak its head up, but it hasn't done that so far. So hopefully those sectors can get going. But anyway, moving on. So what is hot in the market this week? Well, on your screen right now is my hot stock tip for the week, which is ANZ Group stock ticker code ANZ. All right, so on your screen right now is the monthly chart on the left and the weekly chart on the right. Now I wanna start off on the monthly chart here with ANZ because no brainer financial stock, obviously. Some of the stocks um, in this sector are the best performers on our market. And to me, you know, if we go big picture on ANZ, obviously it's having a nice run out of the COVID low, but what's important, and I've marked these three horizontal levels, and to me, these three horizontal levels um, display the three most important levels of price since going back to 2001 on this stock. You can see that it has really ranged itself through the, I guess, $30 and $15 level for the best part of, you know, what are we talking now, almost 20 years. And, you know, given we have recently come back to test one of the most important levels, which is that $14.80 mark coming out of that COVID low, we saw a nice, really strong run up in ANZ coming into these highs around $29, then finding a secondary base at the second most important level, which is that $22 level. You can see how important it's been, obviously congesting through there. We saw an agreement at 22, a nice little um, bounce off 22 through here, a bounce off 22 there. And most recently, again, we're seeing that congestion in price, again, finding a lot of stability, agreements before we saw a break to new all-time highs. We saw a very similar thing through here. And what's really interesting about ANZ right now is because we have broken this long-term down momentum line. Um, we've broken even steeper one coming from that all-time high much, much more uh, uh, recent, uh, previously. But what's interesting is that we're now coming to that other side of the momentum line. And if I zoom into price a little closer here, you'll see that 
you know, ANZ has really, really performed, and I'll go into the weekly chart to show you a bit further, but it is coming and bouncing off not only this momentum line through here, but also the momentum line on the upside. So all things are leading to a nice continued run up and resumption of this very uniform uptrend that it's experiencing. I just want to touch on one more thing, and you can see that as ANZ runs through these uptrends, it does experience, I guess, more more sharper or more sharpness in its moves. And that's when really you need to pay attention because this one can run away from you. And what I mean by that is you can see this um, angle of or gradient of rise through this period in 04. And then September, it started to get a bit more, I guess, uh, expansive or sharper in the move, which I guess coincided also with that, you know, strong uptrend, but also a warning sign that, hey, it was the last gradient of move before price was going to fall away. We saw it again, very similar type unfolding. And these are very similar in, in, I guess, percentage. If you look, we're about 64 through there and about 60 there. And then this second gradient is about 72. And coming through here, we're around that 76%. Again, leading you to show you that, hey, we're in that expansive type move. It's getting sharper. Jump on board, but also be prepared that, hey, when it's time to get out, um, be prepared to get out. And we're seeing that, I guess we saw that back through this period through here when it started breaking through this momentum line. Now, we're experiencing a very similar thing through this current price action, 64 in the initial move. Now we're coming into that 74% gradient, an expansive move, sharper move. Now's the time to be looking at this for an opportunity because it is gonna run uh, according to history when it does make these moves in according to this type of, um, I guess, rise or rate of rise. So be prepared for upside, but also be prepared that at some point this upside will subdue. But that being said, we're not talking short term, we're talking more medium to long term. So I would expect now we're gonna test these levels at $31.80 very, very easily as that first port of call. What it does above 3180, if it can hold through 3180 strongly, then I think we're breaking back through to new all time high. So that is it for my hot stock tip. Now we're moving on to a stock that should make you proceed with caution. Paladin Energy stock ticker code PDN. All right, on your screen right now is the monthly chart of Paladin Energy on the left and weekly on the right. Now I wanna focus on the monthly chart here for you guys and a few things going on with Paladin. Now, this one for me, is it a caution, positive caution, negative caution? It's a positive caution because, I mean, if we just zoom out on the monthly chart in here, you can see this stock has really gone through a lot. I mean, it's been around since 1994. A stalwart on the market, it came through at these price levels around a dollar. You know, we always talk about on our Tuesday show, that dollar level, where we do start to see when stocks float around the dollar, they can be quite a liquid. But then as they start to rise through above that dollar level, two, three dollars, it starts to get that institutional interest and you start to see a lot more liquidity firstly and a lot more volatility. So we saw that back through 04. What the stock's done is it's experienced, you know, accumulation, expansion, contraction, back through to accumulation where the stock you know, became quite a liquid again around that dollar level. But as it broke through $2, liquidity changed. You can see that in the shape of the bars, not much gapping from a monthly perspective, longer bars, stronger bars, that all unfolded. And it is in a, a nice uptrend. You know, you're seeing higher bases consistently. We saw a nice little period of accumulation through here where the stock fell about 54 odd percent, but it fell to a momentum line. You can see that momentum, how it found some support through, or I guess, showed that it touched through back in November 20 and it started off in April 2020. Again, almost a perfect hit on a June uh, in June 2023, or sorry, May, of that momentum line. Before resuming the uptrend and resuming it quite sharply, you can see this stock. I mean, this definitely is a trader stock. Once it gets going, it is quite volatile. So do expect sharp moves up, but also do expect sharp moves down on the way down because you know, that's just the nature of these kinds of energy. Um, you can even throw in materials type stocks. They do move to this rhythm. And what's interesting right now with this one is it's fallen 47 odd percent. So in line with that 50% fall, you know, we, we did a show on Tuesday about the miners and metals. And we, you know, we did uncover that the average percentage fall of the top 15 miners was about 64 odd percent. So this is, you know, although not 64, getting in that vicinity about a 50% correction is generally the end with stocks um, that you do see. You know, it's common on markets. 50% is a very good gauge and a very good marker. And given this one's coming off that extremely bullish run back from June 2023, a pullback of 50% is not, I guess, unlikely. It's very, very healthy. And the fact that it's pulling back into this area where price was agreed upon for many, many months, 
uh, in fact, from September, October 21, all the way to August 2023, we saw an agreement at around that $8, $8.50 level. So coming back into that, this is where strong buying may be sitting. And we have seen the initial, I guess, mark of that, given we've seen this monthly bar here start to get picked up where uh, obviously, what are we, 19th of August. So just uh, well past mid-August and we have seen buys pick up these levels from around 950. If the market can close or this stock can close above $10.50 or even close above the previous month's high, which is that 1150 level, then perhaps we're starting to see that early sign of a reversal. And to me, I mean, if this is a low, obviously we always talk about confirmation. You wanna to start to uh, see higher bases. You, all the things you need to see in price action to prove to you that this is gonna be a low in the market. But if that is to eventuate, then I think we're definitely breaking through these $1,750 levels, the previous all-time high. So regardless of where that confirmation happens, you've probably got about a 40, 40 30 to 40% move just to this level. But I mean, given the way it's unfolded since May 2020, and given it is potentially in the bigger picture coming out of a major accumulation and into an expansive type move in its life cycle, then I think there is plenty of upside to this stock, potentially even all the way up to these $44, $45 levels, if it can resume what it's been doing in this very nice and uniform uptrend. So that is it for my caution. Keep a very close eye on it because I think there are some very good opportunities coming on that one. Now, lastly, what's not hot in the stock market this week? Liontown Resources, stock ticker code LTR. So let's get into the charts right now. On your screen, as always, is the monthly chart on the left and the weekly chart on the right. Now, this stock is having a rough time of it. I mean, uh, as you can clearly see, since the all-time, I'll bring up the monthly chart first, then I want to get into this interesting thing through here. But you know, you can see firstly on the monthly chart, obviously since making the all-time high, it ran through again, you know, when we talk about phases of stocks, they really do go through these very distinct phases. You know, they come through, obviously listed around 206, had a really long period of accumulation, expanded out, now it's in the contractionary phase. So, I mean, you know, uh, very, very clear what is happening with the stock. It, there was promise, to be honest, around that $87, uh, 87 cent level where you saw a real strong base in June 2022. It looked like that was to be the case. You saw it tick up, but look at that. Once it broke through February high, tick up and closing all the way back down in February, that's a warning sign. And what followed was it never really went on to take out the February high. So you really got two warnings. It tried again, failed to break through that previous high saying that, hey, maybe this isn't gonna be supported through this period um, moving forward. And what eventuated was that. Some may have even held further hope around July 2024, where it came back to test 87 cents. Closed in July, if I zoom that up for you, you can see that it tested it. Closed two months up there, you're thinking, oh, maybe there's hope. And this month's been very, very disappointing, breaking through again, so far closing. There is one train of thought to say that, hey, maybe if August closes above this level, there is hope that it could, again, you know, find some bases around 87 cents and make another run up or attempt at it. But again, I would need to see price breaking through these $1.50 levels for any kind of serious confirmation that it is likely to go back in a long-term uptrend and start to even attempt to go through these all-time highs at around $3.15. But right now it doesn't look great. I mean, if it continues on lower, I think that it does have the potential to go all the way back down to 19, 20 cents. So keep an eye out on this one. Potentially at some point it may turn around, but I wanna go to the weekly chart to show you a little bit more on why it is not having a great time of it at the moment. I mean, there's no volume, no real serious volume coming through these levels to say that, hey, like real strong spikes like we had in April and also September to say that there is gonna be support through this level. So that's one thing to watch for. But secondly, look at the gap. I mean, it gapped down in October, 2023, quite sharply, very, very sharply. It gapped to the tune of, if we show that for you now, my mouse is playing funny business, but I'll get there for you right now. It gapped around 30 odd percent. And what typically happens with stocks is they come back to fill their gaps. I mean, we saw it through here, another small gap came back to fill it. And if I go throughout the history of this one, I'm sure that there are gaps. I mean, look, there's a gap through there where it's kind of come back to try and test it. But what you when you see a stock not even attempt to come back and test the gap and continue on lower, that's, that speaks signs that there are concerns. So I just wanted to show that for you. As an example, you can see through here that there was a gap on the downside and not long after it came back to test that gap and break on through. So 
Gaps do often get filled, but when they don't, it is a real warning sign that um, you know it is a, a, a negative thing for the stock. So um, everything mentioned there, that is one definitely to stay away from for right now. Well, anyway, thanks for watching this edition of Wealth Within's Weekly Hot Stock Tips. Remember to tune in to the live Australian stock market show on YouTube from 7 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday night. Now, to find us, just type Wealth Within Live in the YouTube search. Remember to have your phone ready to call in live to speak to us so we can answer your questions. Now, the number is 0392909988, or you can email into the show right now by sending your questions to info at wealthwithin.com.au. Now, if you want a copy of Dale's first book, you can still get it for free. You just have to pay the shipping. You can order it from our homepage, wealthwithin.com.au. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and thank you for watching. For now, goodbye, good luck, and good trading.